At any given moment, tens of thousands of giant cargo ships are moving around the world's oceans. These ships, some of which are more than a quarter of a mile long, are the heavy lifters of the global economy, shifting everything from metal ores and compressed gas to fresh fruit and plastic toys. This interactive map shows the movements of the world's commercial shipping fleet in 2012, based on hundreds of millions of individually recorded positions. Plotting all the raw positions at once shows the extraordinary extent of modern shipping's reach. Even without a background map, the world's coastlines are clearly defined, albeit with plenty of variation. From the buzz of activity in the East China Sea, to the relative quiet of Somalia's piracy-afflicted waters. While ships can move freely through the open ocean, routes are predetermined closer to land, and especially in tight straits such as the dual carriageway of the English Channel. The most crucial shipping thoroughfares of all, though, are the man-made canals linking different bodies of water, such as the Panama Canal, opened a century ago to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, and the even older and busier Suez Canal, which saw 17,000 transits in 2012 alone. In some places, ships penetrate deep into continents via rivers and lakes, such as the massive Paraguay and Amazon rivers in South America, or the Great Lakes in North America, whose ports include Chicago, Milwaukee and Toronto. Colouring the ships by category shows the flows of the global economy in more detail. The red dots are the tankers, which shunt oil from massive terminals in the Middle East or from offshore rigs in West Africa and elsewhere. While the blue dots are so-called dry bulk ships, which move aggregates, ores and coal from mines and quarries, many of them found in Australia and Latin America. Many of these raw materials are shipped to manufacturing regions to make finished goods that are themselves then moved back across the ocean in container ships, shown here in yellow. China is the centre of the shipping container world. Shanghai alone moved 33 million units in 2012. While all of this shipping makes modern life as we know it possible, there is a downside. Moving billions of tonnes of ships and cargo relies on burning massive quantities of bunker fuel. The result is a huge amount of carbon dioxide or CO2, the main driver of global warming. Commercial ships produce more than a million tonnes of CO2 every day, more than the whole of the UK or Canada or Brazil.